Hey Mick, uh, three goals and three points at Shamrock Park. Just get your thoughts on the game. Thought, well, we started off really well. Scored a brilliant goal. Great move down the left hand side, and cross into the box, and so good way to start the game. And then we uh, we let them back into it. You know, you come out at half time. You tell the players at half time to not relax, not take any chances, because as everybody knows, two 0 even against 10 men is a dangerous score. So we got a warning shot there. Um, players messing around with the ball too much, taking too many chances. So we'll learn from that. But I thought we played some excellent football. Granted it was against 10 men. And to be fair to, to Porter Down, they kept going. Got a good football inside, they're young, they've got talent. Uh, it, it was a hard match for them tonight. I mean, we, I think we showed some of the quality we have, some of the pace we have. And I think it could have been six or seven, to be realistic. But Give credit to Porter Down, they fought till the end, but I thought we played some really, really good football. And the first goal, Conor McManaman getting off the mark with Glenn Thorne again. What a great goal that was. A brilliant goal, the whole move was excellent. And, and to get off the mark so early in any game is, is brilliant. But I thought some of the other players outstanding. Um, I think we were in a hurry at times. You know, you can play fast, but don't be in a hurry, there's a difference. You know, move the ball quick. And once you move the opponent, you know, you don't move the ball to move the ball, you move the ball to move your, your opposition. And then once you've moved them, try to find that one or two passes. But there's no hurry to do that. It, when it's on, it's on. When it's not, keep the ball moving, especially against 10 men. And I think in the second half, we realised that once they started to tire, that we don't need to keep trying to penetrate our diagonal ball or ball in behind. Move them around, move the team around. Then when it's on to play through them or behind them, do it. And is that what pleased you most tonight, creating those amount of chances and having those opportunities in front of the goal? Yeah, it was it was pleasing because you know we had Dale Gorman back in the lineup. He's trained really well the last uh, couple of weeks. Cricky was excellent again in there, and Hervoy got another you know 65 minutes into him. And pleasing that you know Reese slotted in it right back. Caelan Marin has, has been ill. Um, and to see Connor playing on the right side, you know, we know he can play left, right. Robbie can play left, right. Jay can play left, right. Rory can play left, right. So we've got a lot of options, but it was nice to see them gel a bit. And I know people will say, well, you know, it's against Porter Down, as if that's some sort of criticism. But look, it's about the performance, it's about the quality of the play. It's not easy to play against any team in this league, especially the, the pitch was, was, the pitch was what we expect this time of the year. You know, it was snow last week, there was a game on it, so that's not a criticism of Porter Down in any way. It's just the pitch was really difficult to play on. Uh, but uh, considering we, we played on the pitch against this opponent and got that quality of football, yeah, pleasing. And we thought we were going to have three home games in a row, of course, and now, for one reason or another, it didn't happen. We've got four away games in a row. Yeah. Just to talk us through this run of games. It's, well, look, it's it's we can't complain about it, but... I don't understand why the schedule originally wasn't 22 games, 11 home, 11 away. Considering that one of the, the the curtailment protocols is a 22 game scenario, so I would have I, I would have thought when they proposed the 22 game scenario, it was assumed that everybody would have played each other 11 home, 11 away, but it didn't appear to be the case. So it's a strange time, you know, four away games. We'll deal with it. Um, it means we'll have more home games coming down the road in a congested calendar. We're, we're, we're looking forward to it, you know, like I said before, we've got a healthy squad. Hopefully that remains. And we've got a talented squad and, and look, we'll do our best we can. We're away to Warren Point on Saturday, which is a hard one. And then we're at the National Stadium on Tuesday, Dungannon on Saturday. And then we've got uh, the Derby game at the Oval the following Tuesday. So, great. Looking forward to it. And more point on Saturday, what particular test is that going to pose for the side? It's, it's a hard place to go anyway. We went there last year and we won handily. Um, we, but it's a completely different team. They've strengthened really well. They've got boys in there with experience and you know, size and strength and power. and you know, They're organised. So we're under no illusions, just like coming here tonight. You know, if, you, if you're not on your game, these teams can hurt you. And Warren Point is definitely one of those teams. They're going to their place. If you're not on your game, you can leave there uh, suffering. 